welcome back to the Hammered Leatherworks studio. Today we're going to show you how to make Good Times, our new utility pouch. We're super excited about this one. It's something we've been wanting to do for a while. So let's not delay, let's get started. So when you receive your kit and you open the box, remove the plastic cover, and you'll find everything you need inside. So there's your certificate for when you've finished. You'll have a D-ring and band. There will also be all your pocket pieces. Your all the small things envelope with your needle and thread. And this is the main back base piece. So I'm just going to close this box up and put it to one side. There we go. So inside the kit, if you want to check, you should have one, two, three, four, five leather pieces, a D ring, your certificate, and your envelope of small things. So you'll notice when your pieces come to you that they've got uh, small sticky dots on the back. You can just roll those off like that. You won't even know they were there. There we go. So first place first, you're going to need a pair of scissors. So if you don't have any, you should go and get some now. Here we go, something I prepared earlier. Woohoo! So um, what we should do next, we're going to start by working with the two smallest pieces and they're going to become our two front pockets. So take your two largest pieces and set them aside along with the strap and D-ring piece. So opening your envelope. Now if you haven't watched our Stitching 101 video tutorial, now is the time to go and do it. I'm just going to cut this envelope open and stick a little bit easier. So there's your needle and thread. So to start uh, with ad adding the front pocket, what we need to do is sew this line across the bottom of the pocket and it's going to attach in the same position along the bottom of this piece here. So you know, if you have watched the Stitching 101 video, you'll know what to do here. You're going to measure your thread. Trim to length. And thread your needle. So let's get started. The way this pocket works is we're actually going to attach this piece like this. Okay. So starting from this top side, you don't have to start between the layers here. But keeping your holes lined up, we're going to go up and down, leaving a little tail so we've got enough to tie the knot off. So there we go, we're back where we started. We have stitches in all the holes on all the sides. We haven't gone through the ones at the side here because they're where we're actually going to use to create the pocket shape. So I'm going to finish my seam by turning the reinforcing stitch in. And now I'm going to trim and tie a knot. So I'll tie a knot first. One, two, and I'm just going to trim this with some decent little tails. Wax linen thread is really unique, it, st it sticks to itself, so just give it a push with your fingers, the warmth will heat the wax up and you just push it against the stitching line. 
and you turn the piece over. How much of a beauty does that look like, huh? So once we've done that, the next step is to line up the sides of our front pouch with the sides of the stitching here. And it will take a little bit of fiddling to get it into position. So I'm gonna measure my stitching first and then I'm gonna use my stitches to hold it in place as I go along. One, two, three, and four. So cutting to length and threading your needle again. There we go. So I'm going to start at the top of the pocket, but I am going to start between the layers on this one. Let me show you. So I'm going to come up through just the top pocket layer. Pull that through. Then I'm going to lay the pocket on top of the bigger back piece, leaving my tail poking towards the inside because it'll be easier to finish that way. And then we're going to go up before we go down. Something to note on this small leather piece, if you look very carefully at the top edge here, there is a half cut hole. So you are supposed to go over the edge of the small pocket piece into the hole in the back piece of the leather. So off we go, we're gonna stitch all the way to the bottom and back again. And what you're going to do is, you see I've reached, as I've reached the bottom here, you're just going to gently ease the leather into position so we create that box style shape on this corner. And if you just ease your leather holes to line up, it will just really gently move into position without any pulling or tugging. And as we did at the beginning, you'll notice at the end of this small piece, there is a half cut hole as well. So you're supposed to go through just one layer of leather at the beginning and the end. So now we've gone all the way down, we're gonna come back the way we came. So here we are, we're back where we started and we've got thread in all the holes on both sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our reinforce, reinforcing stitch in that last hole. So that means putting two layers of thread into it. There we go. So we now have our double stitch at the end here. We're going to do the same on the back side. And pull up between the layers, just like that. We're gonna tie our knot just to be extra secure because the pocket is gonna be pushing back. Trim the ends and tuck them into place. And now we're gonna repeat the same on the other side. So we're going to measure our thread again. One, two, three, four, and trim. And 
and thread our needle. And just as we did on the other side, we're going to start from the inside, going through just one layer of the leather, leaving a nice long tail in the middle of the two pieces of leather for when we tie our knot at the end. Going up to that top hole first, and now we're just going to keep going with up and down all the way to the end, just as we did for the other side. There we go, we've done all the way to the end. And now we're gonna go back the way we came again. There we go, we've reached the end where we started and we've got all of our holes filled with stitching on both sides. So now we're going to do that reinforcing stitch we talk about. So we're going to go up and down and then we're going to come back through the hole in the back and come up between the layers where we started. There you go, you see our tail and our needle. So we're going to pull that through. There we go. So as I did before, I'm going to tie a knot in these, then trim the tails and tuck them in. And trim. And tuck. There we go, looking swish. So that is the first pocket of our three pocket pouch. So for the next step, we're gonna make the second pocket. So take the next largest piece you have, which will be this one here that has a curve to the bottom. And you're going to place the two pieces you sewed together in the previous step. I'm gonna turn it this direction because it'll be a bit easier to explain with the smooth sides together. And we're going to sew this seam here as we did with the first pocket in the first step. So measure your thread and trim it to length, line up your holes, and then starting from the suede side, sew all the way to the end and back again. So there we go, we've sewn across all the holes in that seam. So we're going to put the on before to reinforce. And coming back up where we started, tying our knot. And we're going to trim our ends. 
and push the wax linen thread back on itself just as we've done before. So next we're going to fold that pocket set up and it's really starting to look like the picture now. So as we did before in the in the first step we're going to sew these edges on the bigger pocket here. So I'm going to turn this on its side and I'm going to line up the edges. So this is a little X stay area up here. I'll just show you that in the light here. So this is something decorative you can sew at the end. We're going to be sewing this seam here first, just as we did before. So measuring your thread. Two, three, four, and trim. And starting at the top, you'll notice this one is different. The previous one had a little slot in the top for when you sew through for it to pull over and envelop the end of the leather. This one here doesn't have that. You'll notice the hole is a little bit more distanced from the edge because it's got these little X stays at the top here. So just as we did before, we're going to start between the layers, going through just one layer of leather, leaving a nice tail towards the inside there for when we knot off at the end going up into that first hole through both the layers and then off we go up and down all the way to the end gently maneuvering the leather to uh, line the holes up all the way down to the bottom So when you reach the bottom of that line, you're going to notice that there's the cut through like we had in the previous step. So that means you want to stitch over the edge of the leather and go through just one layer. There we go. So now we're going to go back the way we came. So here we are, we're back where we've started. We've got our stitching holes full from top to bottom on both sides. We're going to do our reinforcing stitch. So once you've put in that secondary stitch, you're going to come back up between the layers where you started. So the needle is between the layers with the thread. Pull your needle off, tie a knot, trim your tails and tuck them back in along the edge of the seam. There we go, just there. 
Now we're going to do the same on the other side. So measure your thread. Trim to length. Thread your needle. And starting just as we did before, up just the one layer of leather. Tucking your tail to the inside of the pouch area. Line up your holes and you're off again. So you stitch all the way to the bottom of that seam and then come back the way you came. There we go, we've gone all the way down and now we're going to go back the way we came. So here we are back where we started and we've got thread in every hole on both sides. So we're going to do our reinforcing stitch as we've done time and time again. So going up that hole, which is a second hole down, down the top hole. And then we're going to come through the leather through just one layer up where we started. So the needle and the thread are coming out at the same points. We're going to pull that through. I'm not going to pull the needle off this time though. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie the knot and trim the tails. So there's our knot. I'm going to trim those tails to about 10 mil and tuck them in against the waxed uh, linen that's already in the seam and give it a, a press. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use what's left on the needle to actually make these X points here, which are really simple. It's just a case of coming up and going down in the shape of an X. And the reason we do these is because it strengthens the corner of the pocket. There we go. So we've created our X. And then I'm just going to tie the two ends together, nice and strong. And then trim again, keeping these ones a little bit shorter. You can do a square here if you want to, it doesn't have to be an X, I just prefer an X. And you don't have to just do it once, you could do it twice if you want to. So there we go. So our X again, so our X again, 
to turn it over. This time I am going to pull the needle off. Tie my knot and trim the tails. Pinch them close to the mark. There we go. So those X's act a lot like rivets in reinforcing the strength of the pocket. So we're on the home stretch now. There's not too much more to go. So before we can add the main pocket to the main part of the bag that's actually going to go on your hip, we've got to add the D-ring. So I'm just going to put this aside so it's easy for you to see. You're going to take the strap and the D-ring and you're going to thread it on like this, like this. So it's folded through there. You're going to take the piece we just sewed, the second pocket on two, and you'll see the matching X on your right. So we're going to lay that on top and we're going to sew through all three layers to make that D ring really strong. So taking your thread and measuring to distance again, Threading your needle, there we go. So I like to come up through just the center of the double layered piece that the D-ring actually loops onto first. And then I like to line it up on top of my pouch and sew through. So all three layers you're going through and by starting in the center it means you'll be able to branch out to all the edges of the X without it guessing, getting messy. So here we are, we're going up that center hole again and we're going to go all the way to the edge of that line. So we're working a line at a time. There we go, so we've got that one line in. Now we're going to come up that center mark again. And we're going to go the opposite direction. And up through that center hole again to do the last leg. To then. So there we go, our X is complete and our D ring is attached. So we'll check the other side. And it's only just got this stitch here missing. So what we're going to do is we don't do a reinforcing stitch on this because we would like it to look quite even and it, we are going to tie a knot so it is going to be significantly strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the needle through the hole in the middle but through only that layer of leather at the base. So I'm going to show you this from the suede side. So I'm going to use my finger to go between the tab which is two pieces of leather and the back and I'm going to really gently push the needle into that center hole while pushing up just that base layer of leather and that way the needle will come out under the tab but on top of the back piece and be nice and secure. So I'm going to pull that all the way through, giving it a tug. We're going to tie a knot in this end as we've done before. Make sure you leave enough tail there to really get in there and then trim and tuck. There you go, you have secured your D-ring. So our next step is going to be to secure the first, second and third pouch that we have here onto the base piece. So to do that, you'll need your base piece. It goes with the Hammered Leatherwork, the Leatherworks logo up. And you'll notice that this piece is bigger. That's because when we sew it, it's going to curve up 
and form plenty of pocket space. So you can see I've pushed that into the shape of the back piece now and if I lift that up for you, you'll see, see the gap there? That's where you're going to put your tools. So as you can see, this piece also has the X areas on it, but we're going to sew all the way around this edge first. So you're going to sew all the way to the end and then back the way you came, just like you have before. So I'm going to measure my thread. One, two, three, and four. It's quite a significant amount. Put the rest to the side. Thread my needle. So there it is. There we go. And I'm just going to turn this on its side so it's easy for you to see. So using just this layer, we're going to come up the second hole down. Once again, leaving a decently long tail towards the inside of the pouch. And then we're going to go up into the top hole through both layers of leather. And we're off. Up and down, all the way along, lining the holes up as you go.
So here we are, we've gone all the way around the edge and now we're going to go back the way we came. So I'll just let you show you this, this is a halfway point. So stitches are forming in every hole. And then we're coming around to do the other half. So here we are, we've gone all the way around and back the way we came and we have a thread in every hole as you can see. So now we're going to do a reinforcing stitch. So that's two layers of thread in the final hole. And then coming up between the layers just as we did before, there's the tail and there's the needle. So instead of trimming this off here, what I am going to do is I'm going to sew this uh, X position because it saves on the thread, but it also means that that last stitch is going to be really, really, really well anchored. So there we go. There's our X done as well. So now I'm going to come up through just one of the layers like we've done before. So the needle's coming up between the layers again. There we are between the layers with the end of the string. Pull. 
We're going to tie our knot and trim one and two. and trim, push that into position and then while the needle is still threaded we're going to do the X on the other side once again between the layers, leaving the tail, make our X, coming back up between the layers where we started and we're going to make our knot again and then trim the ends. One and two and trim the tails. Bingo. Let's put that aside. So we're on to the very last step now. You're almost there. So your pouch will really be starting to look like a pouch. You'll have your front pocket, your second pocket, and your major third pocket. Now we're going to fold the top section in half, matching up the holes. And this is where the belt sleeve is gonna be for where you slip it onto a belt. So taking the thread that you have left and cutting it in half. Thread your needle. Starting between the layers through one layer of leather, coming up the second hole across. Leave your tail hanging out the end of the loop here where we loop the leather over because then it's going to be really easy to tie. Okay, so we're going to go back through that first hole in both layers and up that second hole again and you're going to sew all the way to the centre and back again. There is a gap between the two stitching lines so you'll know where to stop and come back. So here we are at the end, in the middle, and we're going to go back the way we came to secure the end section. So here we are, back where we started, going to do the reinforcing stitch. Up, down and through. So coming out the middle where we started. We're going to tie that knot again. And trim and tuck, doing a great job. And there we are, one seam left and you're done. So re-thread your needle with the piece we cut in the previous step. There we go. And same again, up the second hole down through just one layer of leather, leaving your tail out the end, and then down through both layers of leather.
And here we are, back where we started again, we're going to do our reinforcing stitch down and then coming up through one hole between the layers where we started. See that there, the thread and the needle in the middle, pull it through, tie your knot, trim, and tuck and guess what you've done it that is good time so go grab your favorite belt thread it through the top here and now you have a home for your snips maybe even a hammer rotary cutter if you're crafty some secateurs if you love gardening so thank you for joining us guys and we look forward to seeing you on your next project bye